Hello, my name is Dr. Amal Khulayf and I'm the Director of Collections and Senior Curator at Sharjah Foundation and I am the curator of the exhibition Plata Time Deep Water by the artists Lebena Hamid and Magda Stavarska. Today we're taking a deep dive into a work called Zanzibar. Zanzibar, when the exhibition was coming together, was the anchoring work that we constantly spoke about in terms of how we would create an exhibition that spoke to what it means to enter the world of an artist, literally in terms of from a biographical sense, but also a, what does it mean to create an exhibition that is multi-sensory, that is effective, that encourages the viewer, the visitor, the individual to truly feel like they are the only person in the room. The reason for that, that this work evokes that sense, this, this, this aspiration for the show is, is, is multiple. When you come to look at a painting, you might assume that it would be on a wall. Indeed, many of the paintings of Lebena Hamid or Magda Stavarska would be on a wall. But here in Zanzibar, the paintings have been lifted off of the wall in this floating scenography where these diptychs literally reveal the actual materiality of the work itself. I had always assumed that, for example, Lebena Hamid, who made these paintings in 98 and 99, uh, after a visit to Zanzibar, a return to her country of birth in 97, that she always worked on cotton for some reason. But here I saw linen and I, I was absolutely surprised from just an art historical point of view of what is it that artists, what we assume artists use as medium based on how we perceive the actual texture and contour of a given output or outcome. So in this strange way, the, the, the paintings in Zanzibar are actually mirroring the galleries themselves, the, the odd contoured walls, which are part of the history of this place, but also they are made animate through this scenography that is about trying to understand the artist's journey back through memory. To think of memory as a space of official narrative, to think of how history is something that is messy, that needs to be sullied, that history is something that can be contaminated or reimagined through the realm and world of art is what this very specific work does because it's a work that has had so many different lives. It begins with a journey to a place, and that journey then is manifest through these diptych, these two-part paintings that represent seashells, rose water that belong to the artist's mother, the shutters, the tiles in Zanzibar. For one to identify what they are, one has to really come close, one has to really become intimate with them. And that's what Magda Stavarska has really done, is to revisit this work and work with Lubaina and to create this, what I call, a hybrid audio documentary slash opera, where she takes the original guidebook that was given to Lubaina's mother in 1953 by her father and reads from it alongside another voice where a weather forecast is being articulated, where memories of this visit of this place become interspersed with the sound of instruments indigenous to Zanzibar that would very much be akin to the kinds of instruments that we would hear here in Sharjah or indeed in the Gulf region or the Arab world. It's a kind of this overture that just presents itself through these instruments. But then there's a rupture, a voice, and then another rupture. And those ruptures throughout the piece are like little annotations in history, almost the weather forecast becomes in. The rain is constantly at either side, anchoring you or scaring you as a kind of treachery that it presents. The work is also like an index because 
these opera, these arias, these, these fragments of arias and these fragments of BBC archival footage or BBC Radio Free, which is the kind of the only place really in Britain where a cont um, a composers of opera would have their music heard uh, and reviewed and played, are interspersed and you start to hear this kind of social politic of 1970s, 80s Britain, and we start to wonder why does Lubaina Hamid, why is she interested in opera? And this leads us to actually the questions that Magda was asking her, which is that she wanted to explain that for her, the world is like an opera. In a sense, that's the power of, of works that, of art that are made in collaboration, that extend over time. So a work that began in 97, completed in 2023, is that there's all this layer, all this texture from the pigments of, the, of paint that seep through the rose water, the clothes that you will find in the work. It's literally a sensorial art artwork through to the layer after layer, the texture in the sound. I hope that Zanzibar means something to you as it means for me, and I hope that you will experience it. But more than anything, I'm proud to have been able to give the artists the gift of being able to realize the work the way that they had dreamed it in these galleries. And for that, I am forever grateful.